to the life of q a here back with another video like comment subscribe more videos are coming your way don't forget to hit the notification bell every time i upload now this video i'm going to be eating my beautiful dinner which i made a turkey burger on bread and well toasted and then i made these little potato fries with some dipping sauce which is chick-fil-a yum yum so today's video we talking about a whole bunch of random stuff let's see um you see well how i made my burger i put it in the air fryer um i thought maybe it'd be a little better and i put a little cheddar cheese on it mmm yummy The way I made my potatoes is I cut them up, I wash them, I, and then I um, and then I put add a little oil to them, and I add salt, pepper, and some garlic powder, and I mix them around in the bowl, and then I put them in the air fryer, 380, the temperature for 25 minutes, but you gotta shake the basket pretty much all the time throughout and it was really good these are very tasty um i'm trying to think of something else i should make that would be healthy i'm thinking about making yogurt bark I was late at my job. She told me about it. Her name is Steffi. She told me I should make some yogurt bark. So I'm going to try to make some, like, probably, like, over the weekend. And I get all the stuff together. And if you don't know what yogurt bark is, it's, um, it's like yogurt. And you spread it out on, like, a parchment paper. And then... You can put toppings on it. You can put like chocolate chips. You could put strawberries, blueberries. You could put nuts on it. Or you could put like granola. I'm going to do granola. Sandwich is not a beautiful sandwich, but it does what it's got to do. Mm. I'm really easy going with my burgers. Like, I like my burger to be plain. I'm going to put a sauce on it. Cheese on it. I put lettuce, but we didn't have any lettuce. And I'll put it between two pieces of bread. And I call it a day. Sometimes easy is better, you know? Um... I don't know what I'm making tomorrow. I haven't decided yet. I think I want to make a pizza. Um, and then Friday is like my day where I get to cheat, but I cheated throughout the week and I had dessert as y'all saw. So I might, I want to make s'mores so bad. I thought s'mores would be so yummy. But I don't know yet. We're going to, still working on it to figure out whatever like dessert I would like to make. It'll be different. Um, there will be an unboxing coming up soon, probably over the weekend. Probably do another unboxing so you can see some stuff I bought from Amazon, my favorite store. Um, I'm still working on merch, and I want you to comment below what you think merch should be like. Should it be bracelets? Should it be shirts? Like. And would you buy them? Like, be honest. Like, tell me, like, would you buy it or no? So I'm working on someone to help me with that. To make, like, shirts and stuff. Um, I'm in 900. I'm almost at 1,000. What do you think I should do for my 1,000? How I should celebrate me... I'm hitting a thousand. Should I get a balloon? Should I do confetti? You know, what should I do to celebrate a thousand when I hit that? Comment below what you think I should do. 
because I have ideas, but I was gonna buy one and a K and have it in the background. And when I hit, I do a video. Excuse me, I burp. I usually don't drink this. I usually drink the zero sugar one, but because I didn't get to go to the store to buy any more, and only 12 come in a pack. And I don't understand why they're like, why are they price gauging like the grocery store? Like, why is everything so expensive? Like, I know I have an issue with strawberries, but gee Louise. <laughs> Seven dollars for a pack of strawberries? Like everything went up. Everything went up. I don't know how we are supposed to be like conserving everything if everything goes up. It's like you gotta work hard, work harder to be able to take care of yourself. And it's just like it just really bites. Like it really does suck sometimes because everybody works so hard. I work hard. And then I have to sit there. And when I go to the grocery store, I'm wondering, like, why my price, why everything is so expensive. It's like I have to go to, like, three different stores to find everything that, you, that can stay within your budget, you know? And I'm not going to lie. I cheat a little bit. I go on Instacart. But sometimes I realize Instacart will raise your prices up. So you go on Instacart and be like, okay, I'm going to buy. No disrespect to Instacart. But I'll go on them on there. To see like how much of a difference it is. The only thing that will actually let you know if it's on sale or not is if you look at the flyer. And everybody gets the flyer to their house. If you don't look at the flyer, you don't really know what's on sale until you look on the actual flyer. Or you go online and do the digital coupons. I'm at the store and I'm like, geez, why is everything so expensive? And I was like, but you know the funny thing I always say? It's easier to buy the food that's not like all the junk food is cheaper than the, the healthy stuff. Go to the store and buy almost $100 worth of groceries. Majority of the stuff is all that, not even healthy, you know? So, and now sometimes I feel like, should I buy everything in bulk? Because at this point, this is where it's going. Sorry, that was my little rant on the grocery store. This is crazy out here. It really is. Always around these videos, I always seem to get full. <laughs> the one thing about me is when I eat now, I eat in smaller portions. So all this food I just ate, look. I'm already full. Can't enjoy nothing. But it was good while it lasted. I am full. Like, comment, subscribe. Really subscribe to my channel. And hit the notification bell every time I upload. Please watch my videos. I know you watch them. But I'm out. This is Life of Q&A. Bye.